Hello YouTube, this next diecast review will be on David Gravel's 2021 WhoSetSpeedway.com uh, sprint car from Acme Training Company. This is a beautiful diecast I picked up from Diecast Wholesale Models. I picked this up last week, I just never got around to filming them. I really just am loving these Acme sprint cars. I mean, I opened up two of them so far. I got the Lucas Wolf and the uh, Brad Sweet opened up. Like, I got these guys all out of their boxes. And let me tell you, these things are some amazing quality. And I am floored by how great these cars are. Believe me, this is just an exceptional diecast quality we're getting out of 164s. One good thing about Acme 2 is their packaging. And the packaging is very, very uh, unique in the diecast market as far as race cars go. This one has a giant number two in the background. It has HughesHeadSpeedway.com logo on there. And it's got David Gravel's 2021 Sprint Car in there. 164 diecast collectible. And um, this is just a blown up number two. It looks like just like his, his regular livery. And there's the back of the box. This is the most generic one out of the two. The one that we're going to view later on, which is the James McFadden, is the most complex. And that is looking really, really awesome. But let's take this thing out of its box and begin the diecast view of the David Gravel Sprint Car. Here we go. This thing's out of its box now. And let me tell you, this was one of my favorite cars on the track when uh, it was racing the World of Outlaws Tour. This is the 2021 version, I do believe, so we are going to be in for a treat as far as this one goes. David Gravel did win in this car at, uh, at uh, Weed Sport. I almost called Williamsport. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. Mixture of Williams Grove and Weed Sport. Yeah, a Williamsport track opened up. Yeah, congratulations. You're an idiot, Rob. Um, but he did win this at Weed Sport when, when Sheldon Houndenshield blew it with two to go. Me and my buddy Rob were not too happy about that. But at least David Gravel won the race. So David Gravel really did a good job. And it was nice seeing Gravel win for a change. And Gravel is one, one of the winningest drivers in the uh, World of Outlaws competition now. I do believe. Well, basically top 10. Like top 10, top 15. So he's doing pretty good. Uh, overall, though, very nice die cast. I mean, you know, the quality is just absolutely amazing. I really just cannot stress enough how highly detailed these cars are and the fact that you know what now these cars are out it's highly recommended you pick this up for either your stop motion series or for your collection in general i'm going to hang up a lot of these on the wall here pretty soon so you're going to be really so you really get a tour of my sprint car collection for 2021 but i got to find all the old shit from years ago because there's a lot of old stuff that i got to get got to put up including my kyle larson car which i still haven't found yet but anyways we got mainstream capital David Gravel, Hughes at Speedway, Jackson Motorplex, Hughes at Speedway, Walker. Got some little sponsors here on the on the um, by the driver's headrest. Simpsons wanted them, and uh, yeah, Hoosier tires. Hughes at Speedway. Got some sponsors underneath here. We got JRC. High performance lubricants and World of Outlaws NOS Energy Sprint Cars. Oh, what a beauty that is. And we got number two back here where the fuel tank is with the uh, chrome bumper here where the ATVs will push the vehicle onto the track. And here you go, this side's the same as the left. The main colors are black and orange. It's a very basic car, but let me tell you. It's one of my personal favorites on the track, honestly. Very, very nicely detailed car. There's no opening features of this 164 car. Not like the 118 where that has a bunch of opening features. That's going to come due at a later time. That's going to be a really nice car to review, the 118. I'm going to be really, really excited for that one. But here's the fr front shot of the car. You can see not too not too much going on there. But you can see here where you know, all the exhaust pipes here. Looks really good. Got the grooved Hoosier tires, which they got right on this one. They're made of synthetic rubber. And there's no decal flowing whatsoever. They are looking very, very nicely done here. And here we go. That side is the same as the left. And I'm telling you, I'm inspecting this car overall. 
very, very nicely done. I don't see any problems with it whatsoever. And as far as the wave goes here, I think with this current wave we got here, this one's probably number two on my list behind the Lucas Wolf. Which I heard the Lucas Wolf car is being recalled now because guess what? Apparently, they pissed off the alcohol the police and it's not, that's the, the logo is not supposed to be there. So, get these while you can because guess what? It's going to be a hot commodity come here later on. Which I actually might... I, 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 I luckily have one of them in my collection here but I might buy another one just in case uh, the, the alcohol police get really pissed off and they don't reproduce another one or if they reproduce a, a censored version of the car so that's that so here's 360 view of the car here here's the left side here's the front here's the right side here's the back here's the top of the car and here's the under tray the chassis whatever the under tray pretty much Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day 12. Never minding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better. Die Kiss Kid is always happy to see you.